So I got to the airport and I was like, oh my God, I'm here on time. This is so great. I woke up at 7 a.m. I packed for late at night last night. And also, fun fact, my power went out last night. So I was packing in the dark until I found the breaker, the circuit breaker or whatever it's called, the bo breaker box, whatever flips and switches and all my power came back on. Ugh, it was a hot mess. I was stressed out. That's the point. I went to sleep. I woke up. Didn't blink an eye. Didn't even go back to sleep the way that I wanted to. Usually I would just risk missing my flight <laughs> for that few extra 30 minutes. But I didn't. And I got to the airport and I'm here. And then I look at my ticket and it says boarding six hours from now. Imagine my shock. Imagine my horror. Girl, I'm going straight to the exit. I'm going back home. Six hours is just too long of a time for me to sit in the airport. I don't think that's possible for me. I was going to do, I was like, oh, maybe I could sit down, do some work, get, get some stuff done, answer emails. But six hours at home could be better well spent. I have some laundry I need to do. I could go to the gym. I'm going to go to the uh, grocery store to pick up snacks. going back to sleep like <laughs> girl no ma'am i'd rather just go back to sleep i woke up at 6 50 a.m to go to the airport and i don't even need to be there that's so silly and goofy but you know what i actually put in a work order for my lights in my kitchen because one of the lights went out and the maintenance guy just came so i'm glad i was here for that to open up the door for him i have five hours left so i'm just gonna nap we have five hours left <sighs> wow nice beautiful yawn okay good night or good morning, whatever. I'm a wake ho. Cheers, let's go. Oh, this is time to go to Houston. Am I dressed for Houston? No. I'm in Houston, woo! Oh my God, I can barely hear myself. It's real dirty up in here. This airport, IAH, the George Bush one. I don't like this girl, it's not cute. It's just dirty, like. There's just literal trash everywhere. Gum, cigarettes. We bring our own drinks up into places like this. I'm waiting for the bus because I can't take an Uber when that thing costs $40, when there's another option called public transportation that's literally $1.25 to take. Yes, it will take me 25 <laughs> extra hours to get to my place, but guess what? I'm gonna be $40 richer by the end of it. Still have my $40 in my pocket. So I'm taking the Metro and you can uh, get your tickets online. You can download an app and then just buy a thing and then you show it to the bus driver and then you move on with your life. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my, what, uh, what? I was not expecting this. I thought it would be just one square, but it's, there's these stairs here that lead into the bathroom that have a whole washer and dryer in it. What? It feels like this building is very old and they renovated the whole thing. It's a Sonder location. If you know what Sonder is, they, they do vacation studies. Um, and they usually are like homey stays. So there's a beautiful mirror here, washer, toilet, tub with the jets and the, ugh, that's cool. And then you come out here and there's a little platform, you go down. Um, there's the bed, that's the door. There's some stuff here for you and a cute little mirror for when you're about to leave. It's just giving industrial chic. Here's the living room. Yes, I love a suede moment. This is nice. Out here, y'all, it's a roof. Like there's a rooftop right here, but you can't go out. Mama. And that's the view. I can't wait for the daytime when the light is pouring in. And this is the kitchen and the dining room. Cute. I feel like they did what they needed to do. And now I gotta do what I need to do. Like I really gotta find food immediately. Tomorrow I want to go grocery shopping because this place literally has a full kitchen. And I think I'm just going to meal prep for the next, I'm here for five days. Just do that and there's a refrigerator. I can just store the food in there. That's great. Everything seems pretty clean. Maybe they have, yeah, they have plates. You got pots and pans though. They got forks. It looks like they kind of have pots. They have at least one pot down there. Coffee. What's in here? This is the pantry. Nice, heavy duty Reynolds wrap and a broom. I was immediately when I walked in, I was like, oh, I could live in here because there is kind of space and they did a good job at sectioning off the place into different rooms. But honestly, I feel like there's something in the air. The energy is a little off in here. And maybe it's because I no, nobody lives here. It's just me. There ain't no personality in here. What a personality. Anyway, I'm gonna find food immediately. I went to CVS to like get some little snacks and a drink right before uh, they close. And I got these Laura bars. Why open it up and it smell like dank booty? Period, ah, period, uh. Why it smell like dank basement? 
It literally smells like the floor of a club. Laura bars be lying to you, yo. They stay lying. But it was like one of the few snacks on the shelves that isn't filled to the brim with high fructose corn syrup, which I feel like is a literal, it should be an illegal drug. Oh, oh, okay, that's not bad. It stink, it stink a lot. It stink real bad. Well, that's good. It's only six ingredients. No artificial sweeteners, plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan, child. Dates, almonds, cashews, lemon juice, and that's it. I'm fine. I could get with it. Ordered food from Postmates and Shippy here. Girl, it's coming from, it's, it's coming from Narnia. The man is off the map. The little car that they show you on Postmates with the little guy picking up your food and stuff, he in the Gulf of Mexico, over there in the Everglades in Florida. I just ordered a chicken sandwich, and why is it 15 miles away? I don't know if I like this because I'm just really hungry, or because it's actually good. Either way, it's time to watch Big Brother. Big Brother. Yo, buddy, the food is here. I want to take off my shoes and wash my hands because, girl, to get into this place, you have to keep touching keypads, and it's just a hot mess. Then once you get on the inside, it's amazing race. Yeah, suddenly you got to complete challenges to get through the door and get gain access. And yeah, I just use shampoo to wash my hands because they don't got. Well, they don't got hands open here. They don't got hands open here. Not even a little bar is open. I'm so thankful that I'm here, that I made it here safely. My flight wasn't too bad. Oh, did I tell y'all? Yeah, I think I told y'all. I woke up mad early today, 6 a.m. 6.30 a.m. <laughs> 6.30 a.m. to catch this flight. And then I got to the airport and I went to the gate and that thing said Denver. I said, why it says... Why does it say Denver? Because I'm not going to Denver. I look at my boarding info. You don't board until 3.30 p.m. I played myself. Anyway, now I'm just going to open up Paramount Plus, Miss Girl, and watch some Big Brother and go to bed. Good night. Oh wait, I'll show you my food. I got two chicken sliders. I think one will just be for tomorrow for lunch because I know I'm gonna be scrambling for lunch tomorrow. Then I got some fries and they didn't give me no kind of ketchup. Wow, no ketchup? Are you serious? How you eat fries with no ketchup? You know, burger with no honey mustard. And then two chicken sliders. Um, cute. Where is the ketchup, huh? Nice to Let's get this big brother popping. I should have had two new episodes to watch. Oh, it looks like I have three episodes. What's going on? Eating a burger with no honey mustard. Where's the sound? Like, oh snap, my headphones are still attached. See, this is why my headphones always be dead because I never turn them off. I thought that they were just bad on battery, but no, it's me. I'm not turning them off one time. Hold up now. See, every time I travel, Paramount Plus be acting weird. I'm just in Houston, baby. A little two hour flight. I'm acting brand new. I really hope this works. So I really want to watch Big Brother. Like, stop playing with me right now. Stop playing with me right now. Look at this. Now, what am I supposed to do with this? A black screen? Use my imagination. I must say these fries are really good. They're seasoned. They're crispy. They're still warm. This place is making a whole lot of noises. There's something in the wall right here that sounds a little scary. Stop playing with me. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to watch this on my phone. Actually, I figured out how to play it on the TV. So that's even better. That's so funny. So I'm sitting here. I just got finished watching Big Brother. Girl, the table had turned in that dang on show. It's over. Like I was using Chromecast for my computer and it naturally ended. So it got quiet in here. And I've just been scrolling on my phone. But then I was noticing that I was hearing a noise. So I turned over to the right. But there's nothing moving. There's nothing over there. But it fully sounds like a ceiling fan is like turning and really shaky. It's getting ghost. It's spooky, ooky. Boo! Um, what, what is that noise? Can it stop? Finally made it into the gym. They made it so hard just to get into the gym. I had to call somebody. I had to wait for like 10 minutes. Then they had to like confirm who I was. Just to get into the gym, child, just give me the code. It, the code should have been in the, the confirmation email when I signed up. Anyway, I'm here. It's a well-equipped gym. It looks larger than it is. There's actually just a big mirror <laughs> right there. So it's like kind of, I think I got some good old stuff. It's old, a little old school. So um, I'm gonna get my workout done and we gotta start planning this trip because I don't want to just be here sitting in the hotel. There's like a fan on this treadmill that's coming out through here. Turn it off, turn it off, huh? I don't like that. I don't like when there's fans on the treadmills because there's like dust coming through. They don't clean them. And it's just like dust coming straight to your eyeballs. I have a, I literally have a dust allergy. I can't do it. But there's no option for me to turn it off. Do I have to call them again to ask them to turn the fan on?
Girl, I'm out here. My phone about to die. Just got off the bus. Left the bus on the at the wrong stop. But I'm living life. I'm in Houston, Texas. I kind of know where I came from. So if my phone died, at least I'll be able to walk back. It'll be a long ass walk. A whole 50 minutes, I'm sure. This is Westheimer Street, I think it's called. I'm in the district of Montrose. Montrose? Montrose? I think that's like the gay area. So I've been seeing lots of flags and whatnot. But there's also a whole, probably like two miles of just restaurants and cute little shops. So I'm gonna just walk down here, girl, and figure it out. Yeah, let's pray that my phone, I have a charger. I just don't have my portable charger because my portable charger died, but I have a charger that I can plug up into the wall. But first of all, I need a wall. Any of y'all got a wall? You have a wall, sir? Uh, Houston, it's so nice out here. Like the weather, when the sun sets, it's beautiful. I haven't gone out in the daytime yet because I wake up at three o'clock. <laughs> I woke up at one o'clock today. really cool store i think it's called fantasy something it's like an adult shop but also novelty yeah it's an adult shop <laughs> but it, there's also like a cute little novelty situation here and they have these posters i'm obsessed with i'm looking for all kinds of art and i want to find something for my place because i have a million and one cool thank you i have a million and one like frames at home and girl ain't no, i'm not picasso i ain't painting up nobody <laughs> nobody nothing so i'm just I should look for prints. And these are groovy. I'm just laying here now. <laughs> Got my bonnet on, girl. I'm on the couch. It's like 8 o'clock. No, it's not. I'm lying. It's like 10. I want to go. I, I wish I could had friends here in Houston. I don't really have friends here. I feel like going out. Like, I want to go out to the bar or something. But I also don't drink. And it's like, what else do you do? I wish there was other nighttime activities that you could do. Kind of. You know, places where I can go and mingle and meet people. Because, you know, like, there are other things you can do. You can, like, go to the movies at nighttime. You can go bowling. You can you can go out to eat. Um, but these are things that people do at night with groups of friends or family. The club and the bars are kind of different, where you can go by yourself to the club and to the bar at night and, like, meet people. People will go out with their friends, but, like, they're, they're a bit more friendly and they'll talk to you. I wish there was just another activity that you can just go out and have fun. Anyway... It was raining today, so that was like also weird. I didn't get to do much, but when I did go out, I wanted to film when I was out on West Westheimer Street or whatever it's called. And I was in the district of Montrose and it's really cool over there. It's really fun and cute, but my phone was also dying. My phone literally died right before I got back to this place. And I forgot, there's like a code on the outside of the door. I forgot the freaking code. And some girl had to let me in. Like she didn't have to let me in, but she and her boyfriend were coming back from somewhere and they they like let me in and I explained to them like oh my phone died right before I got here and they're like yeah I it's always weird when you're like a black man and especially I mean it was a white girl and her white boyfriend you feel criminal you feel like a criminal no matter what you like you just know that they're thinking of you as a criminal they know they think you're like like I know that anybody can make up that story right white people any, anybody can make up that story and people will look at them a little weird like i don't know i don't know if i'm buying this story because i had to tell them the story was that i my phone died and so i don't know the code to get in they obviously knew the code and i was like kind of this there's this social dance that you are doing and they now feel pressure to kind of let me in but they also were kind of side-eyeing me and i know that they would side-eye anyone but when you're black you also you 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 know that there's like an extra bit of side eye <laughs> you know it's a quicker jump to the conclusion that you might be some nefarious character like lurking on the sides of this building waiting to get in to do what every other door in this place is like also like code locked i knew the code to my place my individual place but the building has a specific code itself that i'm like i don't know how to i don't know Anyway, I got in here, and as soon as I got here, I said, look at God. <laughs> God said, look at God. Got me in here. I was so worried. You know what? One thing about me is that I will always, ha always have faith. Always, 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 always. That is something that I remember learning as a concept when I was younger. And as I got older, although I don't go to church and I'm not 
religious. I'm not reading religious texts and trying to live a life by a book's standards. I still lean on faith. I just know that it's going to work out. And it, oh, it doesn't fail me. And this is why I know the girls be like, like whenever somebody's like, I believe in God, I don't question it because stuff just don't add up sometimes. And it's like, yeah, the only way that that could be real is if like the idea of faith and how it kind of always works out. I mean, it doesn't always, always work out, but I mean, it more when I do lean into faith, it works out more than when I'm not leaning into it. You know what I mean? So when I'm breathing negative energy into something, usually more bad stuff happens. <laughs> like, oh, dang, I, I don't know what I'm going to do when I get home. Like, I ain't going, I don't know the code. Like, my phone is diet dead. Like, I'm not going to get in. If I did that, I feel like I, I wouldn't. Have, those two people wouldn't have walked up and let me in. Like it just wouldn't have been that way, and I wouldn't have remembered the code to get back into my actual apartment. But because I was on the, I took the bus back, on the bus thinking, you know what, my phone is going to die. But when I get to my, when I get to the building, there will be. I will either just miraculously remember the code, or somebody will let me in. And as soon as I was walking, I could see through the door that there was some, there was two guys already in the building. So I was like, oh, I could just knock on the door and see. And they were also black. So I was like, oh, that's great. But as soon as I got up to the building, those two people walked up. And so I was like, I'm fine. I'm good. That's why I'd be like, look at God. Look at faith. Faith just be coming through for you. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful. I'm so thankful. <laughs> I'm thankful that I even get to come to Houston and like just even chill on this couch. I think it's so cool that I get to walk around and... I'm not stressing because I have to like be back in Phoenix to go to like a nine to five in the morning. I'm so I feel so blessed, <laughs> and that's not lost on me at all ever. But I'm here, girl. I'm like cozy. Tomorrow, I really want to get stuff going though. I want to get up, go to the gym. I wish I had like a cute little yawn. You know how little babies yawn? They go. Like, I wish I had a cute little yawn. My yawn is a big old mammoth, woolly mammoth yawn. <laughs> big old quadruple size, quarter pounder type yawn. Girl, what is going on? I want to see the nature here in Houston. Houston is right next to the Gulf of Mexico. I didn't know it was so close to, like, water. But there's literally water all around here. It's a huge plot of water. And it's the Gulf of Mexico. And I think what I remember about the Gulf of Mexico is that that's where they surmise that the big crater that devastated the world enough to go make dinosaurs extinct landed i don't know if i just made that up but i think that's what, what that is i would like to go kayaking or something but every place that i look up they don't have kayaking i just want to go and like touch water that'd be really nice right now um i love houston's food so far the food has been amazing but i'm kind of over the chicken and waffles is that all houston has Houston is chicken and waffles and tacos. Chicken and waffles and tacos. Chicken and waffles and tacos. Move on. Like, we need something else. So, I'm going to try. Um, I want to go to this place called Traveler's Table. I think you might need a reservation. So, I'm going to, like, book a reservation for myself. Um, that seems like a really cool place to go. <sighs> all in all, girl, I washed my hair today. I retwisted my hair. I went to the gym. I went out. I got I bought posters and little knickknacks. I don't know how I'm gonna get them back on the plane. I guess I'm just gonna carry them in my hand. <laughs> Girl, I guess I'm gonna carry them in my hand. Ho. <laughs> Girl, I'll be adding ho to the end of every every sentence. It's just it's like period. Period. Ho. I don't know what I got myself into. It's warm. It's a, it's, a, it's a little too warm for my liking. And I do have jeans on. I got a little bit of a mesh moment on in my, on my on my shirt, on my top. I need some chapstick. But I'm here at Herman Park, which is like, I guess the big park. It's like the Central Park. And there's a bunch of museums here. I shouldn't have put in my GPS Herman Park. I should have put museum. I think I put museum. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of museums are in the park and so I'm gonna go over there because they close at five. It's like th it's like three-ish.
walking through. It's been like an hour I've been walking through here. And I always grow. My strategy for museums is like, I want to learn stuff, but I also have a cap. You know what I mean? I get exhausted. And then it starts to turn into what's pretty. What's pretty? What can I look at that's cute? And I also kind of get inspiration for trying to build out what my own point of view is when it comes to art. And seeing other people's art and representing that helps in that. But um, yeah, it does get exhausting. And then I also start to think about how my main way to kind of learn about things that happened in the past is through art. Artists have a really big responsibility to tell the truth, but they also uh, have a big responsibility to get people to think. And in getting people to think, they kind of hyper hyperbolize things. I I'll look at something and I'm like, Ain't no way y'all was this lit back in the day. <laughs> Even just pictures like this, I'm like, it looks like there's energy <laughs> going on there. First of all, I'm even incredulous about how, I'm like, did y'all even exist? Is this a simulation? Are you trying to like pretend like there's history, but there's not? Wild to think of something being here that's like from 1609 or even before Christ. <laughs> but it's just so funny because it's like, what is that? What is happening? And what were y'all up to back in... 1666 that's what y'all was up to <laughs> nonetheless it's pretty colors cute composition and then it's also interesting to see like individual brush strokes that's also very um sick is to like feel like you're in the artist's room and you're watching them it feels so intimate when you can see a literal stroke of the brush and you're like whoa it reminds you it's not a picture it's not on instagram girl ain't nobody uploading that to the insta <laughs> But things like this are wild. It's like, who who drew that? I don't know. Actually, I do know. Candy, Canaletto. So how I'm at these gardens. I was just walking around this park and there's this cute little garden situation. Lots of memorialized white people. Hi, another white person, multiple white people. Uh, there's one man who's staring directly at me, like into my eyes. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm looking back at him. Mm -hmm. I'm looking back at you. <laughs> Another white person. Well, he's from Chile. Probably white passing now. Funny how, like the statues are brown, but they're still, we know they're white. Robert Burns, yeah. Sound like you white. But look, look at this hill. I think it's called the mound or something like that. You just walk up in a circle and then you get to the top and you're supposed to be like, yes, yes, slay queen. It's not as hot as it was earlier. Before I was sweating, huffing and puffing, dripping, coochie sweat, yeah. It's like a nice little, feels like 78, like not 75, which is like a perfect temperature, but 78 where it's like, okay, don't run. You know, keep, it, keep the pace to a minimum. Cute little garden, it seems very peaceful. That's sick. That's sick. Okay, now we done been on this thing for about five minutes. <laughs> I thought it'd be a quicker, quicker way up to the top. Whew. I'm gonna make it. I'm a survivor. My mama ain't raised, raised no quitter. Think I'm about to quit when I'm already by the top? Think again. I can hear it. I can smell the success. I can hear the people at the top. Yeah, we about to be up here. Finna go up these stairs. Finna win. We ain't no loser. We winners. <laughs> okay, but for real, like, we still not at the top. Okay, I think I'm here. Cute. Is that it? Yes, ho. Come on, top. <laughs> We're at the top, finally. Cute. I feel like from a bird's eye perspective, like it looks like an eyeball. So there's that. Damn, I was expecting Mount Everest. This is like not even that much different from being on the ground. Oh, bike parade happening. Whoa. 
I just took an emergency shower because I walked back to this um, place from, from picking up some food and I felt some raindrops and I was like, oh, it's, it's raining. And then I looked on the ground to see if there was raindrops marks to, you know, cause it's kind of hot outside. And you know how when rain hits dry pavement, it leaves those beautiful like splatters of rain uh, marks. And girl, there was no rain marks and I didn't see any other rain, but I did feel rain uh, on my face on my arms. I was like, dang, it's coming down fast. So I'm looking around. Everybody else don't, like, nobody has umbrellas and nobody else rea is reacting. And so I look up and girl, it's just on me. Somebody's thrown some kind of liquid out of their window off their balcony from this tall, tall building. I can't really even see who because I'm not trying to really look up because there's some mysterious liquid falling on my face in my body and I look on my arms and it's like all there and it's like falling on my lips and I'm like, my lips are like extra person. I'm like, <laughs> walking back, thank God I only had like 50, 50 feet left to get to my, to this place. Girl, I don't know what that was, but as soon as I got in here, I dropped my stuff. I washed my hands, washed my face, hopped in the shower, washed, scrubbed my body, scrub, bitch, scrub. I just, uh, the, the, the amount of viruses and things that are out there now, it's just so, not fun to have a mysterious liquid just fall from the sky onto you and only onto you, knowing that it most likely came from another human being. There's, it was the building that wasn't like an apartment building in New York City where maybe it's just exhaust or um, uh, condensation from like an air conditioner. It was like a tall building that maybe would have been like a hotel. It was, it's, we're in the like, or downtown, you know what I mean? So it's most likely somebody either peeing out of their window. I was like looking, it was on my phone. Actually, I need to clean this phone. Ew, bye, bye. Ugh. How gross. Somebody has a trumpet or something. I'm so sleepy. What? Yeah, it is hot out here. But I just picked my order up from Barnaby's. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's called Barnaby's. It's this place that the girls on Instagram told me to go to. I think this is the one. This It's like a chain. It's almost like a Panera kind of situation. It's not like fast food per se. Let me, girl, let me cross before I die. Yeah, and I just ordered a salad. There's lots of other stuff. They have like macaroni. Yeah, it's kind of giving Panera where it's like, what do y'all sell? Lasagna. Lasagna. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, anyway, I have to go on to CVS real quick. This right here is the building that that random mysterious liquid fell on me. I was walking right there, child. So it had to be coming from somebody's balcony. That was so nasty and I'm finna run. I'm finna run past this. Cause they played me last time. They ain't gonna play me again. No, ma'am. I'm hiding underneath the balcony, child. The girls are not getting me today. I'm back from the stove. Okay, I done got my, got my salad from Barnaby's. I picked up my juice from TDS as well as some toothpaste. Cause the girls don't brush their teeth. I'm just kidding. I just was literally on my last drop. I was struggling this morning trying to get the last little drop of piece of <laughs> Piece of out of my thing on too. And you know what? I had to look up what the TSA regulations were, what the ounces were, because I was looking in the travel the travel section of CVS for a small tube of toothpaste. And everything said whitening, 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 whitening. White supremacy everywhere. We don't gotta whiten everything, especially not your teeth. It's not healthy. But I still needed toothpaste, so I was like, I don't wanna compromise. I went around to the larger size, full size tubes, and Girl, this was good enough, girl. 3.4 ounces, it passes the TSA check, and it's Sensodyne, it's cavity protection, but it does not have whitening in it. Oh! What'd that say right there? 
you can barely see it, but right on the end, it says whitening. I'm taking this back. I thought I looked up and down that box too. How they gonna get me like that? How they get me like that? Sensitivity, enamel, clean, gums, fresh, plaque, whitening. I'm tired. I'm tired of this. It's too much. Like they just always lying to us. Capital L-Y-I-N-G, lying. I had so much more footage and I don't know where any of it is. I had LA, DC, Houston. It was all gonna be one vlog. Girl, all of it, I, I deleted a lot of stuff out of my phone, but I thought I had transferred it to my computer already. Who cares? That's the end of this video. Um, hope y'all enjoyed it. Well, I edited it, per. Um, leave a comment down below. What'd you think of the video? I don't know, girl. Do something. Have fun, interact with it. Um, I will see you all very soon. Love you, bye.